to have a character say something different after you interact with them in GB Studio, we need four things. The first thing we need is the initial bit of dialogue, the thing they say when you first talk to them. The second thing we need is the dialogue that they're gonna say after we've already talked to them. The third thing will be a local variable on the character that we will set to true after the first interaction. And last thing, number four, is an if-else statement on the character that we're talking to so that we can test their local variable to see if it's true or false. Let's look at how to set it up really quick. This will work with any type of GB Studio scene you have created. I'm using a platform scene for this example. So we'll have our character walk over to this bus stop and talk to this character who says a bit of dialogue. And then if we talk to them again, they say a different bit of dialogue. And then they will say this second bit of dialogue from now on. And then I have two scenes set up in this particular project just to illustrate that if you change scenes and then come back, the local variable set on this character that is tracking whether or not that conversation happened uh, does remain intact scene to scene. So I'll select the actor we want to talk to whose name happens to be Biff and I'll add one of the four things we talked about. And I'm going to start with the last thing, which is the if else statement, because before we begin the conversation, we want to check to see if a conversation has already happened. And we will do that by using the if variable is true. So currently our block says if the local variable, which is named local zero is set to true, then we're going to do whatever events are in this true section. The else section is collapsed, so we will expand it. And if that's not true, if the variable named local zero is false, then we're going to do the actions in this section. So the first thing we're going to do is change the name of the local zero variable to something else so that we can remember what it does. And we will call it has talked. So because this block tests whether or not the has talked variable, the variable that's tracking whether or not we've had a conversation before is true, if it is true, the thing we wanna do is actually the second part of the conversation or the conversation that happens after the initial conversation. So we'll just add a display dialog block here. It's important to remember that this dialogue is gonna repeat every time your player interacts with this character. So you may wanna write the dialogue in a way that doesn't encourage further interaction. So now that we've checked to see whether or not a conversation has happened and displayed this dialogue if it has, we're ready to add the dialogue for if this is the first conversation or if the local variable has talked is set to false. So we'll go down to the else part of the code, hit add event and add another display dialogue. And then we'll click the plus sign to add another line of dialogue. And the last thing we need to do is after this conversation happens, we need to set that local has talked variable to true. So we're gonna add one more event under the else part of the block, and that is set variable to true. And the variable we wanna to set to true is has talked. So when we interact with this character, the very first thing it will do is check to see if that has talked variable is true. The first time we've talked to him, it will be false. So it'll skip down to the else section, run this bit of dialogue here, and then set the variable to true. The next time we talk to this character, it will again start at the top here and check the has talked variable. This time it'll find that it is true and it'll run this bit of code here.